on a noble mission. They could be paid a lot more than they're being paid right now if they worked at Google or, or Facebook or, or some of these other areas. But they've chosen, uh, you know, um, this sense of purpose for a noble goal. And uh, they have incredibly strong technology backgrounds, uh, so uh, a, a, as well as a good understanding of economic history, especially monetary uh, history. Uh, and it gives me a, a great deal of comfort as I think about the governance of the ecosystem, uh, much much more so than I, I think we would find in other financial ecosystems. Uh, and just to give you an example of that, I think two years, we were talking about that apparently, I mean, not apparently, uh, there's a big debate about reorganizations. I know in the Ethereum network right now, well, we uh, saw the, the core Bitcoin developers and others at work uh, back in 2019, when Binance tried to reorganize uh, in order to uh, reclaim 7,000 uh, Bitcoin that were hacked, and they just wouldn't allow it. So we've already had some very good tests of the Bitcoin ecosystem, including developers. Uh, so that would great. be my answer. See. Thank, thank you. Uh, and it's a great transition to the next topic area, which is Bitcoin ethos. And what is Bitcoin ethos? I mean, Bitcoin was born as open source and it's very transparent. Um, there's also a, a staunch defense from the community around decentralization and a lot of the core principles of Bitcoin. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that and what makes it special. Jack, um, Square has done a lot to support open source Bitcoin. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what Square has done and what advice you'd have for other institutions looking to follow in its footsteps? Yeah, I mean, I was I was very skeptical of corporations when I was a kid, and I'm still skeptical of corporations today. And, you know, as we've used corporations to be, you know, they, they've been great, great vessels for what we need to do and the ideas that we need to bring to the world. 